Welcome to Sandwich Reviews. I'm the Talking Sentient Sandwich, and if you're a fan of Guy Ritchie movies, you're going to love this. However, hearing about the real life story that the movie is based on less than a year ago, I kinda wished I didn't know any of that. Because of that, watching the movie reminded me of Apple's greatest beer run, though this is definitely better than that. The movie itself was entertaining, but knowing the real life story that I assumed would enhance the viewing experience only hindered it. Plenty of the events of Guy Ritchie's new movie are switched up and dramatized, and it's always great to pay tribute to real life war heroes with a fun movie like this. But that is an inherent flaw in these based on true event stories. But other than that very specific and particular viewpoint, that's the only negative I have to say about the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It's a breezy watch that has just enough drama sprinkled in to give the characters motivation. Everyone's acting is cranked up to 11, which works because the style behind the camera and editing supports that quirky, fast-paced idea. The action features standard choreography and gunplay, but that doesn't take away from how entertaining it is. Plus, whenever Alan Richson was on screen, I knew I was in for a treat. Like any Guy Ritchie film, the story contains a ton of characters, yet each feels fleshed out, like they are a real person going on their own journey. Since that was the case, that notion was a little easier to depict in this movie, but it's still an atmosphere that Ritchie continuously makes. Some are better than others, but he's a director that has been pumping out an entertaining movie sometimes more than once a year, and I don't know how he does it. But back to Ungentlemanly Warfare. Because for narrative purposes, some people could have been cut from the movie and consolidated into others. But that never really bothered me. To a large extent, that was because they were all real people, but I bet the movie would work regardless. There's moments of convenience in the plot, and sometimes it ruins the tension, but for the most part, there is narrative drama where there needs to be. So definitely check out the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, because it's a guaranteed couple hours of fun. There's not really anything to spoil other than some minor fun details in the costuming, editing, and a scene that tried really hard to be inglorious bastards, but I'll keep that for you to experience if you feel like watching the movie. So I guess this turned out to be a short and snappy review, but hey, that's Guy Ritchie for you. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe for weekly videos and reviews, and enjoy a delicious sandwich.